Hi, this is Chris Wilson, physical therapist, and I'm talking to you today about PT and your PJs. A lot of times there's barriers and reasons why people choose not to do their physical therapy. They think they've got to get ready for the day. They've got to go to their appointment. They've got all these other things to do. And sometimes you just got to get up and do it. So today we're doing PT in our PJs. So you get up in the morning, you're having some breakfast, or maybe you're getting ready for bed at the end of a long day and you realize, hey, I haven't done enough of my therapy today. Maybe you haven't done any. All right, no time like the present to start. Get on a chair. You could be having dinner. Simple as that. You're in the chair. You're working on this. You're working on your knee a little bit. You're going to work on just kind of stretching that knee. I've shown this one in a number of my other videos. You just press down on that upper thigh. You push down until you feel a little stretch right in the back of the leg there, right? And it should be a medium stretch. We're not trying to crank on it. We just need to feel a little pressure. If I lean forward a little bit more, I'm going to get a little more hamstring stretch. It's going to be good. And I'm just going to kind of work this through. I might hold it for 10, 15, 20 seconds at a time. I'm not going to set a timer. I'm not going to worry about counting repetitions. I'm just going to spend 5, 10, or 15 minutes. If you really want a timer, set a timer for 15 minutes and work through the stretches for that long. I'm going to work on a little knee flexion here, just scooting my leg back. And then I'm just going to kind of bend forward on it. I'm going to stay on my chair, make sure I don't slide it off. But you can see right there, I'm going to get a lot of knee flexion here. Obviously, I haven't had a knee rehab, but I've worked with many people that have. This is going to be plenty of a stretch for the vast majority of people in your therapy process. So I'm going to, again, just hold it. Make sure I feel a little bit of a stretch in there. Work through that. Again, pain should not be going more than a 5 out of 10 when you're doing your stretches. And as soon as that stretch is over, it should be lightening up. I'll hold it there, and then I can switch back up. I can work on straightening the leg. I can even work on some quad sets. I'm going to be kind of just flexing a little bit, flexing the quad a little bit to get that going there. I can even do some of my ankle pumps, get that going. I've got my long arc quad, which is worthless if I just do it down here. Leg kicks, I hate those, but I can lift them up and get a little bit more quad activity if I'm going to do that. But really, we're just doing this to be casual, just a little stretching. I'm just trying to get my range of motion back, right? And at the end of it, I might decide, hey, let's do some sit to stance. Let's just get up and get down. Just press. If you need your hands there, you can use them on your legs a little bit. Use them on a chair. Right, if you've got armrests, you can use those armrests to push up. Right, if it takes two at first, that's fine. But then eventually, just one hand, pushing up. And then eventually, no hands, working through that range of motion functionally as you do it. And again, remember, you set the timer if you want to, or a TV show, or drinking some coffee, reading a book, bird watching, whatever you want to do. Lots of options. Don't crank. Don't go, go above 5 out of 10 pain. It should not be any worse when you stop doing it. It might feel better when you're done. And once you're done, get up and walk around a little bit. Work that range of motion. Then use that range of motion. And this has been Chris Wilson, doctor of physical therapy, talking to you about PT and your PJs. Thank you.